Besides, there's always Isabel to consider, isn't there? Or would you rather leave it to me? No, no, Pecco. <laughs> <laughs> exactly Love it. Well, hello and welcome back to The Shallow Proclamation. My name is Thomas and I'm joined by... Paul. And we're invading your screen today with The Invasion, part three of the classic era Can't of Can't remember where we left off. Oh yeah, no, I, I think... <laughs> Merlin's beard. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> this guy is my, my guy. Back up. Back up. <laughs> you really are beginning to try our patience, you know. And he's beginning to try mine. Uh, every line. We came here yeah. looking for two friends of ours. Two young ladies. Yes. <laughs> two young ladies. That's, that's, that's going to live on that, surely. And you shall inspect them at your leisure. After you. Oh, how kind. After you. <laughs> <laughs> How are we going to resist just res res just repeating no, his mate, lines through the whole story? It's the gold. It's every line. <laughs> is that a real moustache? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. Right, stick around for a while. Yes, I I'm going to guess it's fake because it's exactly the same as in. The yeah, I think it story. might be fake actually. Becca. <laughs> every time. It's just How is so he able to nail like, it every time? You might even offer him a little encouragement. Logical it's the same that lounge that. jazz music again, isn't it? Are they of your own invention? Every part of his performance is just really enjoyable to watch. Ah, yeah, to I could watch I this guy make ten Doctor Who stories. So. Yep. Yeah. I'd, wa I'd watch a spin-off series. Anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Fact, the Adventures of Vaughn and Packer. 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 Let's hope that that's uh, one of the uh, Russell T. Davis 60th anniversary spin offs. Besides, there's always Isabel to consider, isn't there? Or would you rather leave it to me? No, no, Packer. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. It is a little bit like the Lady Penelope Parker relationship, yes, isn't it? It's a little bit of that. <laughs> just to go to the sidekick no, and the knowing absolutely... glances and oh, now now Packer now now Pac Parker Packer's just an absolute sadist this again this story is very different to what we've had before isn't it like uh, yeah when we had you know series 5 just base under siege base under siege series 6 we had the dominators the mine rubber and now this if you're ordered to destroy I don't take orders Packer I give them <laughs> Oh, that's a good no, little bit of... Come to stop playing games with this doctor. Oh, the, the charm, charm disappears. Gone. Yeah, exactly. But I can assure you, I am not... Oh, the height of his eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> the arch on that. <laughs> it's quite something. <laughs> take them away, Becca. Mega, take them away, Packer. Right. Do you remember, did you, like, going into this, no, did you Professor, know I just how delicious this performance was going oh, to be? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I knew the way he said the word Packer in particular. <laughs> that stayed with me. <laughs> it's definitely a thing as well. I think Dr. Hickman <laughs> fans, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. Packer, Mr. Packer. Oh, you see, the doctor tried to do it there. And yeah. <laughs> it didn't quite come off. Well, what happened? Duck? How? Well, get on with it, man! <laughs> the lift is stuck between the floors. You hear that sound? It was yeah. I reckon Packer's gonna come good. That's my prediction. I'll take the lift. I must have got down the fire escape. And of course, you didn't think to have a gun. It's like a little boy being told off. You're a stupid incompetent! I <laughs> Put the whole compound on alert! Have every available guard on the job! Find him, Becca! Find him! Whoa, that was <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> the, the wow. Anger. That is on such a turnaround from where he was. Find him! And the zoom on his face as well was just perfect. Well, I mean, another thoroughly enjoyable episode there. Yes, and I know I, know I was laughing quite a lot, but it wasn't because it was it wasn't because I couldn't take it seriously, or it was like laughably. It, it, it was just because the performance was so great, wasn't it? And uh, yeah, I mean, entertaining. It's, absolutely, it's you can't you can't look away when he's on the screen. He's just so good.
I mean, I yeah. think I said that about one of the previous episodes that that's the highlight, but I mean, he continues to be the highlight all the way through. But we've seen a different side of him in this episode as well, haven't we? Where he we have. becomes more angry and stuff. So uh, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's not just a one, a one sort of dimensional performance either. Yeah. Um, there's more to the character. So it's, uh, it's really good. Just, and the story keeps, it's, you know, I'm still interested. Yeah, totally. But again, we've still not got a lot of information. No, it's kind of, they're leaving a lot out. Like, we don't really know what's going on in terms of what the threat is here. No, not so much. So, we know he's trying to take over, possibly trying to take over the electrics, electronics of the, the world, or maybe higher. So, yeah. Yeah, he's powering his uh, Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting though, there's a lot of stuff in this which is very advanced, isn't it? Like, you know, the idea of like having, it's almost like the Apple Watch, the mm. kind of um, the webcam type stuff. You know, there's a lot of things. And, and like we saw in previous episodes, Zoe and Isabel turning up to the uh, the building and the being greeted by a computer, sort of an AI type thing. It's actually, it seems very relevant now, you know, so it's very far ahead of its time, I guess. Is that, it yeah, out. it is actually quite an accurate portrayal of the future, their future, isn't it? Because it's not, it doesn't go over the top, you know, there aren't flying cars. No. But it's, it's Zoom calls and it's AI and it's smart watches. Yeah, they've, they've kind of, I think yeah. <laughs> this might be the, the best, like, prediction of the future in Doctor Who I've seen. So far, yeah. That, that's um, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> Who knows, maybe New Earth will be vindicated and there'll be these, like, cat people. Exactly. <laughs> Ten years from now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks, Paul. Thanks for watching, everyone. Do subscribe if you'd like to stay in the loop with our next episode. We've got lots of, lots of delicious content coming your way. So um, stay tuned and join our Discord in the link below. But thanks for watching. Bye-bye.